Can we talk a little bit about uh, this, uh, the multiple revenue streams? Because this guy is really doing it well. Dreamed of doing, you know, making six figures, and now he's doing six-figure product launches like on a Wednesday just because he feels like it. So he did this <laughs> superhero workouts with uh, one of our trainers, Matt McGorry, yeah. who's awesome. Yeah. And uh, I mean, maybe you can tell us a little bit about that or how you got into it. Well, sure. Um, creating products is great. You know, like you know, it, it's all about um, recurring revenue. Do the work once, get paid forever. That's the great thing about having a book or a DVD or, or an ebook or any digital product that people can buy. You, you know, someone buys it at midnight, you wake up, you got money. And and um, you know, in order for them to buy it, though, you have to build that relationship and establish yourself as an authority. Right. So we can talk about info products, but <clears throat> the way that I went about establishing myself as an authority is I leveraged. What are my two best skill sets? The first one was writing. I was always a writer. And so I realized that if I want people to take me seriously, I've got to get published everywhere I can. Mm -hmm. So I started aggressively going after men's health, men's fitness, live strong, TH, and all the ones that you mentioned, mm -hmm. and others. And I literally got published everywhere within that first year that I was really aggressively trying. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, that was like a huge thing because once you've seen someone's name in six different publications in six months, at that point, if you're a consumer looking for a place to get information, a person, you know, it becomes a lot more credible, and that's right. why you see, you know, like uh, at the higher level, like the T Nation crowd, all those T Nation traders, Cressy and Gentle Core, myself, um, you know, uh, Robertson, all the guys who got their start there. It's because T Nation within that community is considered a very, very viable source of good information and a very credible source of good trainers. Right. And so that was that was one thing. Um, and creating digital products, it's really, it's like writing a book. You really have to take it seriously. You really got to put your, your best information in there mm -hmm. and network with the right affiliates who can promote it. I mean, you can have the best information in the world. But if no one buys it, that's, yeah. that's a great thing. So right. to get these other people to promote, you got to get it in front of as many people as possible. Right. And so now, since I have had several products, mm -hmm. the way that I really go about it now is to have the most fun with it as possible. Nice. And uh, so that's what the superhero workout was. Yeah. Superhero, it was from start to finish, creating that product and selling that product was was a dream come true because it combined my two passions, uh, you know, fitness obviously, and I'm a huge nerd and I love comic books growing up, and that's one of the reasons I was fat because I sat around reading comic books, <laughs> <laughs> which don't do that because it's not gonna work. Um, so what I was able to do was create this really great program that had a lot of um, you know built-in progression and periodization. And then, really, the superhero aspect is essentially overlaying a veneer, um, which, which is part for marketing, certainly, but really part for fun. You know, where each phase is inspired by a different superhero, and you know, even um, choosing the right comic book font for that book was was fun. So, the, I think that the reason that product was so successful, outside of being very good, and you know, it touched on fat loss and muscle building, people want those things, was because I was able to talk about it. In such a fun and honest way, right. you know, when I did videos for that product, it was like, you know, I got to talk about Batman, and who doesn't want that? And so, like, that stuff is really cool. And the great thing is, affiliates got to promote it. So, like, when you're thinking about creating products, you always want to think of things: what are people going to want to buy, and what can people sell? And those are two different things. Right. People want to buy six-pack apps products, right? But if you're like a muscle building guy, it's hard to sell it. The superhero workout is great because anybody can promote it. Especially mm -hmm. this is super group because. There's a new superhero movie coming out like every other week. Right. So now, right. if someone wants to promote that product, all they have to do is write a superhero blog post, right. put up a link to the latest trailer, like embed the YouTube video right in their blog, and then say, and if you're interested in looking like a superhero, check out Roman's product. Right. And that's great because people want that touches on something that they want, the goal of looking like those actors or like those comic book heroes. Right. And it's easy to sell because you don't have to do the marketing. Right. The Marvel Studios already did the marketing by creating this right. the, that that Captain America trailer yeah. where Chris Hemsworth comes out and he's got that or uh, uh, Chris Evans has that giant chest yeah. or that picture of Chris Hemsworth his store with the huge arms yeah. like they've done the marketing for you and, yeah. and here's something that you yeah. can sell so the the biggest thing for me was learning what's going to sell and what's right. going to you know you and, and you know a big marketing lesson and I'm sure you guys have all heard this and I'm sorry for cliches sell people what they want but give them what they need. And you know that was um, that was a big lesson that I had to learn, and that's yeah. that's really you know that, that, and then in terms of product creation and product launches, it's just understanding the concepts that you know you can, how to dress up a great program right. as something that people are going to love, you know, right. and that's the thing. right. So you've got I'm hearing a lot of great points. You've got basic structure and knowledge, which has to be there. You got to deliver that value. Then you make it really cool looking, and you leverage other cool things that already exist. Right. 
And then you even connect it to your passion, something that you're excited about. Yeah. So that it was a fun process for you. Yeah, that was like, you know, it's just if you if whatever you're into, you can create a workout for it. I mean people, you know, they're passionate about helping moms, they create these mom workouts and people buy that. I mean like, you know, there's there's just so many like random ideas of things that haven't been done. If you're passionate, I mean, if you're like a super geek like me, I'm sure a Star Wars workout would sell. I'm yeah. sure if you had a work, like, there are guys, you know there are guys out there yeah. practicing with lightsabers in their, and I'm not talking about like the fat lightsaber kid who's on YouTube. Talking about me, right? Yeah, now. I mean, like, big guys who are just like, okay, how can I do a backflip while swinging a lightsaber? Yeah. If you can create a workout that like teaches people how to do it. I actually thought of that. Yeah, that would be awesome. And now there's this, yeah. uh, this is really cool. There's this new show on, um, on Discovery or Nat Geo called Knights of Mayhem. And it's about this dude, it's a reality show, right. where guys learn how to joust. The guy who's on it nice. is a world champion in jousting. Somehow that's a thing, and I don't know about it. <laughs> so I'm gonna be on the show now. <laughs> I'm gonna try out for the jousting show. My point is that like, that's cool, and you know that there are a lot of people like me who go to Renaissance fairs, I'm not ashamed of that. Mm -hmm. But uh, imagine if you create the workout that's like, this is gonna make you better at jousting. Yeah. Or that's a very small niche, but like anyone who's interested in that is gonna buy it. Yeah. So like there's super nerdy things, super cool things, whatever you're passionate about, you can turn that into a product. It just has to be a good workout product, and you have to figure out a way to make it um, fit what you're selling, and you know, obviously you shouldn't just like have a metabolic resistance training workout for jousting. Right. It should actually do what you're saying. Right. But the point is that you can you can overlay your passion, and I think that's what made me so successful with the superhero workout. Right. Because it was just, you know, super fun.